Hello everyone. The bitch has returned. <laughs> I was talking about you. Yeah. So what have you got for us? More racist pictures for Ghetto in the Bronx? Yeah, uh, I mean, no. The, the segment is not racist. Really? Then why are there no pictures of white people? Because it's the ghetto. There are no white people in the Bronx. All the white people live in the city, or in Brooklyn, but mainly Manhattan. And if you happen to see a white person in the Bronx, it's like seeing Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster. Anyways, you know what? Let's just start with the LGBT news. Well, this isn't really gay related, but it turns out that a church in Kentucky has decided that they- Whoa, something fell in the room. Scared the hell out of me. And since we have mice, it's kind of scary. Anyways. There's a small Kentucky church that is not allowing a, um, excuse me, I got snot in my nose. That is not allowing, um, a couple the right to marry because they're a, uh, interracial couple. The man is from Zimbabwe. And they're not even allowed to, to be at the church anymore because of what they're doing, um, which is horrible. But it proves my point that religion is terrible and that it's now it's not only attacking gay people it's attacking um now it's a race issue and these people are straight so uh but you know somebody once told me that way back like maybe back like in the 40s or the 30s uh, black people weren't considered human because apparently there's a passage in the in the bible that says you have to um, blush to be human and because you're black you can't blush so you're technically not human that's the excuse they were using, so that's why they weren't allowed to be in a church or to marry or anything. It wasn't until later on that civil rights became popular that black people were allowed into the churches. And that's, I think it's pretty sad. And at the same time, I keep wondering, why would why would African Americans even follow a religion that for so long hated them and a God that obviously betrayed them? Because why would a God not do anything when your people had endured so much uh, hate, so much hatred and attacks and violence and abuse, why wouldn't he do something? I mean, if I were God, I would have put a stop to, to the prejudices and the slavery, you know, with a flick of my finger, but that's just me. Um, okay, well, that's enough of that because I know I'm going to get shit for saying that. Anyways, uh, I know I mentioned this before, Chick-fil-A, fucking gayist, but now they officially come out and say they do not want gay people in their facilities, they don't want gay people working in their in their Chick-fil-A uh, um, restaurants, so it's, it's official, these motherfuckers, they completely put a stance and are supporting anti-gay uh, um, government officials and movements and stuff like that, I think it's ridiculous and quite frankly, what I want to say about Chick-fil-A, well, what I wouldn't want to do to every Chick-fil-A restaurant, I probably cannot say on YouTube without getting arrested by the FBI, so I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Anyways, the Vatican. They have reaffirmed that the use of condoms will not protect you from HIV or AIDS and therefore should not be used. They claim that the condoms have little holes, tiny holes, that would allow the virus to get in, go in anyways. Uh, g infect somebody else, um, but also that since the virus is allegedly God's wrath, it would they would find a way to the virus would find a way to the person. Now, screw that because I, my partner and I, are 100% healthy, and we've been doing it bareback for 10 years. Well, not recently, but that's another story. But <laughs> we remain disease free, and so. I don't know, maybe I'm one of God's favorites or something, you know? Maybe I have like a little extra power or something, like a divine power. I don't know. Anyways, there is um, a gentleman. Uh, his name is uh, Zach Walls. He's a 19-year-old university student from Iowa who went in front of the government or the House of Representatives, whatever, in Iowa and was um, opposing this uh, resolution which is uh, supposed to end civil unions in Iowa and he has two two moms um, you know lesbians who took care of him now this young man is you know in pretty good shape 
despite what a lot of anti-gay people say about us, you know, not being able to raise kids and corrupting our kids and turning them gay and shit like that, this, this gentleman is alright. You can probably find his video on YouTube. Again, his name is Zach, Z-A-C-H, Walls, W-A-H-L-S. So, take a look. And, let's see. Oh, um, I don't know if anybody gives a shit about this show called Glee. But uh, a character named Santana, Santana, hello, I'm his back, I can't even say it, Santana, and she has finally come out as a lesbian on the show, not the actress, just the character, so if you give a shit about that, go for it, you know, rejoice. Was it last week your 10 year anniversary? Yes, Zach and I went to the Brooklyn Bridge for our Anna, are you finished? I'm just warming up. Bitch. Anyways, here are some of the pictures that we took and I wanted to share them with you. Would you ever go back? Fuck no, it's too crowded, and you know I'm so antisocial, or I have social anxiety. I probably wouldn't want to go over there again. It's pretty freaky. Uh, it was like it was impossible, but it was beautiful at the same time, and I I highly recommend it if you come to New York. So there is one thing I wanted to mention. Last week I mentioned that I didn't have time to make a video. That wasn't a complete truth. The truth is I did make a video, but then I gave it to Tessa to edit and this is what the fucking bitch did take a look many of you don't know me but I'm a big whore whenever I think about what I've done in my life it just makes me wanna puke about my contribution to my long-term relationship completely impotent there seems to be a lot more hatred these days against gays compared to before the gay equality started and you know who I blame that on? Right here with me. Some viewers might say I'm a complete and utter waste of time on this channel. And I couldn't agree more. <laughs> this isn't funny. Imagine if that had gone out. I mean, you edited everything that I said. Made it sound like I was saying completely different things. You know what? I don't even know why I brought you back. Whatever. Go ahead and bore us with your ghetto in the Bronx segment. Okay. I, no. I, just watch. Holy shit. A dodo bird has escaped the Bronx Zoo. What the hell is she wearing? That vest looks like something that should be worn on a stuffed toy. And those pants, aside from the fact that they're purple, they're purple. But the only good thing I can compliment her for is the purse. That hat, that gold hat. I don't need to say anything, do I? It speaks for itself. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving last week, and I hope you have a great week. I'll see you next Friday. Goodbye, everyone. You always have to have the last word, don't you? No, I don't.